Now, I don't know if you were listening in the other room or not, but, but our, our gal, Sky here, Hi. biked to work this morning. Oh, this was, this sorry, was a big man. thing. <laughs> why, why, why would you do that? Well, today is Mike's birthday, and I was, uh, you know, doing advertisements for them, saying how great it is, and right. I'm like a hippie liberal tree hugger, and so these guys called me out. They're like, really? You're going to talk big about how great it is, and you're going to drive to work? So they called me out, and what was I going to do? Interesting. Like, yeah, like we a made a bike all the way to work. Yeah. I, I don't think I would, I would ever, ever do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brian, Brian, when was the last time you were on a bike? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, really don't, right. I, I can't even remember. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time I was on anything? <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I don't text us. It's, it's, it's radio, so you can't tell, but I'm a big fat person. Oh, <laughs> no. But I want to deny reality. It's fine. Well, no, you, you look great. Liar. <laughs> I'm the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is going to be performing this weekend at the Madhouse Comedy Club. you got to go see him. Madhouse yes. Comedy Club right there in Horton Plaza. It's a great comedy club. And uh, you can check him out, man. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good place. Good I, I appreciate you acting like you knew who I was. It was really nice. Oh, no. I, 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 watch, I, I, like, I, I, I watch all your right. stuff. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I've seen you on Dexter. I've seen you on Mad the Men. Thing, and and the I've seen you down. on Go ah. On. Yeah, you just had that guy on. Right? What? what? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. John Cho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was his show. Yeah, exactly. That's right. He was on that show. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Anyway, but you're you're currently on Sullivan and Son, right? Uh, I I I don't know if I'm in the second season, but what? I was in the first season. Why not? I uh, well, it's a long story. Have they, written, have they written you out? Drama? No, no, no. I just uh, you know the I, negotiations and whatnot. That kind of stuff. I, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I, but I've talked talk about it on radio. Really? Yeah. It doesn't. Uh, it was a little. It, they had. There was a lot of fat jokes, and I was on. I was uncomfortable. You're kidding really? me. Like I don't mind. I don't mind me saying. Yeah. That yeah. I'm fat. Right. You know, but I, I don't. I'm well, a big fan of other characters bringing it up and me just standing there. Yeah, really? you know, where, where you don't get to have a comeback. Yeah, no, I just, I just asked them to change it, and they were like, "Well, you know, we, 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 it's not my show; it's Steve's show." Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I, I'm the, I was the eleventh guy. Right. Well, that wasn't we, really. We've actually had. I was in seven a, of the ten episodes. Yeah, right? we've actually had quite a few comics that were on. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. That are on that show. Yeah, you know, Steve. Steve uh, you know, Steve. Uh, I did a part in the show, and the writers liked me. They used me seven times. And, yeah. And. Uh, you know, it's a, that's that's plenty. Steve, Steve did plenty. For sure, yeah. sure, that makes sense. I mean, hey, so that's not it's not his. It's not my show. That is really interesting, though, and I appreciate your honesty with it. But because you're a comedian, and right. you obviously, obviously, it was one of your first jokes you just said to us. You know, and you're acting in this situation. So why was it affecting you? Uh, because, like, like, like I explained, it's yeah. not. Uh, it's what if you watch Cheers? How many fat jokes do you remember about George Went? Like yeah. Maybe two right. out yeah. of eleven uh, yeah. seasons. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, right. just, uh, there was a, a lot of them, and just like, hey, you know, if we go see my stand-up back, I'll open up with five minutes of fat jokes. I love making fun of myself. Sure, but, but I felt like the other characters were making fun of me. Well, as yeah, and then really, me. like legitimately, like off. Off no, screen, no, no, or no, 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 no. Yeah, it was horrible situation. They were punching me in the face. Oh, no. No. I got raped and made me bike to work. Oh, I had to bike to work. Oh, poor thing. You yeah, horrible. <laughs> no, it was, they were all very. I. Well, I think that's why I was. I, I wish it. I wish it didn't come up. It wasn't like. No, totally. It wasn't like they asked me to leave. It right. wasn't like I quit. I it just wasn't. It just, it's not my show. Yeah, I get right. it. Yeah, I get it. Show. You should be oh. in control of your own destiny, and if you yeah, if it's not going the way you want it to go in your career. I totally get that. That's you know what? Sure, you gotta do what you gotta it's do. Not, it's not, if it was, if it, if I was a regular cast member, then I, I would have spoke up. But sure. I, I don't think I'm. You know, I, I didn't really make a big deal. It makes sense. Interesting. Yeah. That totally makes sense. Yeah. Well, that's, that's cool. Just, like John Candy. You remember a lot of fat jokes about him? I can remember him at five. When, yeah. When his pants were the. The sale at the end of summer rental. Yes. <laughs> that's Great callback. It's one, yes. one yeah. fat joke. I, yeah. I can't. Re and then the, he, he says, "I eat a lot of pieces in stripes." But can you remember many Holy of the fat cow. jokes? Not really. Not well, really. yeah, clearly. I mean, so you, you just you, have you one just choose, you choose your own career. Yeah. So I think yeah, if I, I if it was something that I was more interested in, I would have I would have. Uh, Said, hey, let me go. I, well, I would have been fine with it. Yeah, but you want to be more than just that. that that's yeah, the guy that makes line. the, make the punchline. Punch yes. There you know what? You're better than that, Brian. Thank you. Damn it.
can't. Oh. You're good enough. You're smart. Wait, no. You're good enough. You're fat enough. Get out of here. Yeah. So what else is going on with you, Brian? I'm, I'm actually pretty fat. You're, 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 you're starving right now. I think you look great. I think you look great. You are such a liar. Yeah. Ah. That's what she said. You know, she butters everybody up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I could use it, thanks. <laughs> so so are, you, uh, are you a married guy? Are you single? What's going on? You take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm, uh, so, I'm dating somebody. Oh, okay. Hey, there you go, there you go. So, what guess, part of the country you live in? I, I live in Los Angeles oh, okay. right now. And that was, was very difficult to be a fat guy walking down the apartment building hallway. <laughs> and hot girls are walking past you in right. Los Angeles constantly. You say hi. And most of the time they don't say hi back because I think you're going to like uh, yeah, eat them or, right. <laughs> you know, or ask yeah. about they th They think if I, you say hi to a fat guy in the hallway. And you see him every day. He's going to constantly say hi. Uh, yeah. And he's going to ask you how it's going to get off. Oh. Just ignore and it's, it's right. Yeah. They're right. That's uh -huh. exactly <laughs> what I would do. So it's actually a <laughs> really, really good move. She's into me. Touché. Touché. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's just a um, matter. But there are girls in L.A. Like yeah. normal girls? That, Is everybody yeah, an actress or a wannabe actress? Or? Th yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But you'll meet a girl who's more sane and also she's not as shallow and she'll have sex with the fat guy. Nice. Hey, there we go. Cool. See, that's huge. If you, have sex with, if you have sex with a fat guy, you go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, that's in the Bible. I heard an yeah. angel earns its wings every time. <laughs> pretty, pretty sweet. Where'd you grow up, right? Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn. Oh, did you? Oh, so wow. you're a New York guy. New York guy. I started comedy there in 95. I moved out here in 2001. Nice. And then, uh, you know, then, uh, then all that stuff happened. Right, right, right. Well, we got a guy from Boston. Boston right here. This is Boston hey, Rock. How are you? So immediately I feel there's a rivalry or yeah. something. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. if, I, if I watch sports, yes. Oh, okay. But whenever oh. I go to Boston, they always try to start fighting me. They go, so you, you watch baseball? I go, nah, nah. So you grew up in a Nate Yankee neighborhood? I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you grew up in a men's neighborhood? So, nah, I don't really watch sports. <laughs> and I go, what about hockey? And I go, Nah, that's a sport. I, I, yeah, I, I, don't, sport. I don't watch sports. Yeah. I wasn't good at them, yeah. so I didn't... Uh, they, but they want to have yeah, sports. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, they, want, they want a promise. Yeah. Like, yeah. They well, go, can you like something? They go, go you yeah, Yankee suck. And I go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do they? I don't, I don't know. I haven't watched. Right? Is, that, is that a fact? They really do suck? I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh but yeah, uh, so, so growing up in New York and moving to L.A., that's got to be a pretty yeah. different culture yeah, shock, right? Yeah. I think in New York you have a more goal-oriented life. Like you look at the tall buildings and you look at the the lights and you say, "All right, I'm gonna do this with my life." Yeah. And you go in LA and you're like, oh, "I'll go to Chick Fil A and watch, <laughs> watch TV and yeah. yeah. masturbate a few hours, yeah, get <laughs> the beach up, whatever, yeah. yeah. masturbate yeah. on the beach." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really hard to do. You gotta get an umbrella, yeah. 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 a towel. Okay, wait. Yeah, you're really getting into it. I don't know. Masturbating is a uh, is a great uh, defense. Do you ever thought about that? If you start, the people start punching you in the street, you just start masturbating. Really? Like, really? Like, oh my god, he likes it. You know? <laughs> that's, that's a really oh, interesting yeah, tactic. I've never never heard of that before. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can rob a bank. Yeah. <laughs> like people are distracted. Yeah, everybody, everybody get on the floor. Get on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really weird thing. I'm, right. I'm uncomfortable right now. Um, it's all right. It's all right. Brian is uh, performing this weekend, Madhouse Comedy Club, tonight, 7.30, 9.45, tomorrow night, same time, 7.30, 9.45. Got to go see Brian. Please do. What else is going on with you? What's what's going on in your life right now? Uh, just a lot of touring. You know, I did some episodes of The Kroll Show, which is on Comedy Central, and uh, you know, I just did that episode of Go On, and that got canceled. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Are you are you a show killer? Is that what's going on? Or not? <laughs> I'm the new <laughs> Ted McGinley. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I, who's, who's great? Yeah, I, yeah. I my man too recently. Yeah. No, I'm just uh, trying to do uh, do a lot of touring for the summer, going cool. all over the country. I'm not really happy about it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything anymore. No, no. I, mean, I like the actual performing. It's the whole airplane thing. Yeah. Uh, the travel, actual yeah. travel part of it. Yeah, there's, there's pros and cons there, uh, you know, on airplanes. Right. Uh, mostly cons. Yeah. <laughs> What's the part you hate? The part I hate is just the whole, the fact that you, you got to wake up two hours ahead of time, you got to get there an hour ahead of time, oh. and you got to get Wait on like security. It's, it's the whole rush, 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 and then wait. Yes. 
And then, then it's just sitting in a tube yeah. when you're not in control, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, and you just, the whole tube's full of farts. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's actually the pro. Yeah. I mean, on an airplane. True, true. Because, you know, in space, they can't hear you scream. Right, right. And uh, on airplanes, they can't hear you fart. Right. Uh, so you can really be yourself. <laughs> These are all facts, by the way. Wow. Yeah. wow. Master, you masturbate on the plane. Uh, <laughs> and I, I usually go in the, the bed. Oh, you do? Oh, classic. Okay. Oh. My, my high really club. Get, just, <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I love <laughs> There's a different category. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's more yeah. yeah. Now, are you a guy that uh, like reads on the plane? Do you watch movies? How do you like? I uh, if there's no TV, then I'm just staring at people's heads oh. angrily, going, "Doesn't he hear how loud he's chewing?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, she's snoring. Oh, it's miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But pretty much, I, I need a TV or I will kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so, there are there uh, particular airlines that you want to fly because you know they'll have TVs and stuff like that. Yeah, but they, that one pissed me off recently, so I don't want to mention it. Okay. Oh. okay. Oh. Are their initials JetBlue? Yeah, okay, I was on like one of their first flights ever. Really? Yeah, yeah I've been a, a fan of JetBlue. For yeah, a long well, I love JetBlue. We love JetBlue. They gave me a hard time recently. What happened? Uh, because uh, the TV was broken. Now I got just that. Oh. I need the TV. Yeah. Direct TV. So, it's the yeah, best. I go. This is the whole reason I flew airline. Yeah. Exactly. So I go to the the flight attendant in the back and I say, "Excuse me," and I'm very calm. Yeah. I know how to fly. Oh. I know how. To, I don't want to fly, but I know how to behave. Yeah. Yes. So I go, "Hey, the, uh, could you check out my TV? It's just broken. There's nothing we can do, sir." And I go, but it's the whole reason I flew this airline. You yeah. can't check in. Yeah. There's nothing we could do, sir. I'm sorry. And then I was like, great. You know, I said, great. Yeah. Oh. And then I went to the bathroom. And I did masturbated. Yeah. <laughs> and I came back out and I sat in my chair. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to ask the, the female flight attendant in the front. Yeah. I asked her and she was like, yeah, I'll try. She sat in my chair and she fixed it. So the male, oh. flight, attendant walked, the male flight attendant walked by. And then I said, uh, hey, uh, remember when you said you didn't want to fix my TV? And he goes, yes. I was like, she did. He's like, what are you saying, sir? And I was like, well, I'm saying that you, uh, he goes, what, she came with her magic bag and, and fixed it? He started Whoa. yelling. Whoa. And, at me. and I was yeah. like, no, sir. I was like, you did nothing. She did something. Yeah. Yep. So this guy calls the ground and has not a security guard, not a police officer, because he knows they need to break the law. Yeah. Right. He just has a very large black man waiting for me out the runway. Shut to up. try to scare me. Shut up. Yeah, and start like what? berating me at the to side. say what? So I refused to listen to him. So I left. Yeah. Called JetBlue. They took my side. Next time I fly to the airline, they, 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 oh, they meet me out front and they go, are you going to behave this time? And I was like, I, I always behave. They go, we just want a yes, sir. And I go, yes, but I always do. She goes, we just want a yes. And I go, yes, but I always do. She goes, just yes. And I go, yes. But it was yeah, out of point, out of point. Because I knew Wait, I didn't break what? the law. Yeah, I broke the law. There would have been a cop there. Yeah, well, that's so bizarre. bizarre. That's yeah. so, like that was a nightmare of mine. I got on a flight, and you know, before they had filled up the flight, my TV was not working. Oh, it wasn't working. Yeah. So I was like, that's my whole reason. Yeah. You know, you're like, it's it's a it's great airline, yeah. but it helps to distract, especially when you get nerves flying. Thank God the middle seat didn't get taken, so all I did was kind of, yeah. you know, shift over, but I didn't know what to do in that situation because I was scared that they'd be like, yeah, tough luck. Well, that's a very yeah. entitled attitude by this, you know, the stewardess. To, like, threaten my career, right. not my, but my I don't, life. Yeah. What not was my, their my leverage? What was their leverage? What do you mean? What it, like, when the black guy, you know, the big black guy was waiting for you, what did yeah. he say? That he said, come with me, sir, and I said, ah. I was like, you sure you remember me? And he goes, yes. And he goes, uh, we, um... We're gonna throw you in an airport jail. I mean, what the, but what did you do? He's, what? Exactly. He's like, well, we were, I was told that you, uh, we, we, we need you to keep your voice down on the airplane. I go, what? and I go, I did keep my voice down. The only thing I think of is when I said, great, and walked in the bathroom. But I really didn't say it any more loud than that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Or louder than yeah. that. So then uh, he said, I, I raised my voice on an airplane. I go, no, sir, I would never do that. I've been fine. You know, what? I was like, I've been flying my whole life. Yeah. I've been yeah. Weird. My, my career. I fly every weekend. I did not raise my voice. How weird that weird. that guy can do that, though. And then he kept saying that I did, and he said that I have to, that if I don't listen to him, I'll never fly again. I was like, sir, you what? should. I was like, I, this is an embarrassment for you me. You should be complaining to him. Yeah. yeah. And so, These yeah. are the moments you're kind of thankful that we live in, like, a YouTube nation, because that what I've started to do is just take my video camera out and go, I don't just record this. Ooh, that's yeah, brilliant. That stops people in their tracks. That's brilliant. I should have. Yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've had run-ins, too. 
on airlines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stewardesses. Different, uh, different kind of don't name them. Different, different people who check <laughs> me in to the flight. <laughs> people who, you know, fly the planes <laughs> and so I you, you uh, might get into uh -oh. situations <laughs> all the time right, where I have yeah. to call and complain. <laughs> you and then they Brian say cool. that, cool that yeah. they're going to complain <laughs> on me. And I'm like, oh, I'm the customer. Yeah, you should probably yeah. stop. Yeah. So yeah. I can relate. Yeah. Brian. The reason why Brian gets the Anyway, so. Yeah, sorry about, sorry about that, that Brian. Yeah, that, yeah, that was very much that. No, not very uncomfortable. Okay, that, yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed it. Okay, well, Brian, uh, I hate to leave on that note. Brian. But uh, I want to make sure everybody goes to see you this we weekend. Do. Madhouse Comedy Club. MadhouseComedyClub.com. It's the best, awesome. man. Get your tickets this Friday, or today, and tomorrow, 730 and 945. Brian, nice meeting you, man. Pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Anytime nice you're in town, stop by, man. Right Thank on. You. All right, we got a study about swimming pools.